بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this a benefit for us in this life as well as the hereafter and protect us from kulli su'a makru subhanahu wa ta'ala ahl sunnati wal jama'ah as shaykh al-islam ibn taymiyyah has said countless times in his treaties aqidat wasatiya and this is for a brief revision and clarification especially for those who are affected by the ashari creed and who want the truth who want the truth and want to understand why does ahl sunnah hold a certain belief of course we don't expect that this will change the aqidah or creed of those people who are uh ta'assub to their sheikh you know who are blind follow and are prejudiced towards their sheikh but those who have an open heart for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and want to better their knowledge of Islam and the understanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine attributes according to kitab Allah wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the understanding of the salaf of this ummah then perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide them and we hope that we can be a source of guidance so for the sake of revision we have to understand the basic principle that ahl sunnati wal jamaa that we affirm what Allah affirms about himself in the Quran and what he negates about himself in the Quran and what the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirmed about him in the sunnah and what he negated about him subhanahu wa ta'ala in the sunnah and this forms the minhaj of ahl sunnah the, the the creed and the methodology of how to understand creed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it very clear in the Quran that he rose above his throne and that he is above his creation however some of the sects claim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if you say Allah rose above his throne or that Allah is above his creation you've put Allah in a place or a direction and then from this they deduce and in fact they induce from the nusus from the text and then they reach the uh ruling of takfir of declaring ahl sunnah people from ahl sunnah meaning those people who follow what the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum majma'in what they believe to be kuffar so in fact when they make takfir of these mountains of knowledge people uh, like shaykh al-islam ibn taymiyyah and ibn al-qayyum and, and the the umma all the way up to uh, the salaf abdullah bin mubarak and all the way and hasan al-basri and then going to the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam in fact it is almost as if they are making takfir of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in sharing the creed of the rafi the shia and those and the original khawarij the way they made takfir of ahl islam and they began with the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in so this is from again it's based upon their intellect instead of dealing with the text if allah says about himself that he rose above his throne it is not befitting nor is it permissible for us to try to change the meaning or negate that meaning allah says in the quran ar-rahman ala arsh istawa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran inna rabbukum allah alladhi khalaqa samawati wal ardi sittati ayyam thumma istawa ala arsh so in both those ayats allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the first one ar-rahman ala arsh istawa the most merciful rose above his throne in the second Uh, verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said verily your lord Allah is the one who created the heavens and the earth in 6 days then he rose above his throne Allah said that this is not coming from any text except the Quran that is from uh kitabillah that's from surah al-a'raf and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in surah al-yunus He says subhanahu wa ta'ala inna rabbakum allah alladhi khalaqa samawati wal ardh fi sittati ayyam thumma istawa ala al-arsh He also says the same verse we just uh, mentioned so that shows that verse is mentioned twice and then in surah al-ra'd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Allah alladhi rafa samawati bi ghayri 'amdin bi ghayri 'amadin turunaha thumma istawa ala al-arsh 
So again, Allah affirms for himself that he rose above his, his arsh, above his throne. وَقَالَ فِي سُرَةُ تَاهَا In سُرَةُ تَاهَا, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الرَّحْمَنَ عَلَىٰ عَرْشْ تَأْسْتَوَىٰ The most merciful, most merciful rose above his throne. وَقَالَ فِي سُرَةُ فُرْقَان ثُمَّ اسْتَوَىٰ عَلَىٰ عَلَىٰ عَرْشْ الرَّحْمَنَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about himself, then he rose above the, the arsh of, Rah, of Ar-Rahman, the most merciful. He rose above his throne. This is what Allah says about himself. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Alif Lam Mim Sajda, Qala Subhana, Allah Ladi Khalaka Samawati Wal Ard, Wama Bainuhuma fi Sitati Ayam Tuma Stawala Ala Arsh. Allah, He's the one who created the heavens and the earth in, uh, and, and what is between them in six days. Then He rove above His throne. And in Surah Al Hadid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Who are the Khalaka Samawati will order fi sitati ayam and tumma stowal ala arsh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Hadid, He is the one who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then He rose above His throne. Or then He rose above the throne. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, in many and in, in many other verses about himself that he is above and speaks of his sifat of alu this is what allah says about himself so we have no right to distort or come up with new alfa these were not uh, terms known to the salaf asali they didn't speak about a jiha about a direction and some beautiful statements in regard to these false arguments of those people who who want to say that Ahlul Sunnah is the Mujassama or Ahlul Sunnah is uh, you know making a resemblance between Allah and His creation, or that Ahlul Sunnah is putting Allah in a direction or something like this. Ahlul Sunnah refutes that by some very simple arguments. For one, Ahlul Sunnah stops with the Nasus. If Allah says He's above His throne, then we say He's above His throne. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says He's above His creation, then we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above His creation. And we don't ask how, and we don't explain how. We don't say kafiyah. But we know it's true, and we know it's in a manner that suits His Majesty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not, uh, there is no directions or anything around Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above His throne and He is above His creation. He's above all of creation. So yes, we say that Allah is above His creation. But the how, nor do we say, but we do not say His creation encompasses Him or His creation is on His right side or His left side or, or that something else is encompassing and around Him. No, but rather we say what Allah says about Himself and what the Prophet wasallam said about Him وسلم, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above His throne and that He's above His creation and that He descends as the Prophet وسلم, said in authentic hadith that your Lord descends to the lowest heaven every last third of the night. And Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala said in the salaf majma'oon ala thalik that the salaf of this ummah we're talking about the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we're not talking about the the Ummah of Kufr, we're not talking the nation of Islam, we're not talking about the Ummah of uh, Zandaka, we're not talking about the Ummah of Ilhad, we're not talking about the Ummah of Bid'ah, but we're talking about the Salaf of Salih, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, meaning the Sahaba and the Tabi'een with Tabi'a Tabi'een, and those who follow them until the Day of Judgment, that those make up our Salaf. They make up the Salaf of Salih, the righteous, pious predecessors. And who are they? What, what did they have consensus on? They had consensus on that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above His creation. And that uh, there are so many ayats, as we've just mentioned, seven ayats which affirm that for us. And there are so many hadith that also illustrate this for us. However, that's still not sufficient. So we just want to declare that up because we can't change the hearts of the people. All we can do is offer them bayan and clarity of what Ahlul Sunnah believes. Ahlul Sunnah does not believe like the Mujassima. We don't say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a body and it's like this. We say yes, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because he affirms for himself that he hears and he sees. But we don't know how his sight is. We don't know the kafiyah. And Allah says about himself that he has hands. Then we say yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has hands. But his hands are not like his creation. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that about himself. And in another verse he said, That there is nothing which is comparable to him. And he is all hearing and all seeing. So Allah affirms for himself hearing and sight. But at the same time, he negates that anything in his creation resembles him. So this is why Ahl Sunnah is free from Tashbih. And Ahl Sunnah is free from Tamthil. And Ahl Sunnah is free from Tahrif. What, uh, Ahl Sunnah is free from Ta'til. All these principles of negating and distorting the meaning, changing the meaning outside the Arabic language and outside of the understanding of the Salaf al-Saleh, radiallahu ta'ala majma'een, or negating those sifat. We don't do that. That we reserve for the Mu'attala, the people like the Mu'tazila, the people like the Jahmiyyah, the people like the Asha'ira in their various forms of Ta'til and Tahrif and distorting those ayats and verses and all those other groups that piggyback off their Aqidah. That they use their intellect to make their deductions. So they say, because Ahl Sunnah, because you guys, Ahl Sunnah, you say that Allah has hands, then the hands must be like my hands, or the hands must be like creation. This is their false. Uh, argument. Ahl Sunnah says no. We refute that in entirely because we say basir. We say what Allah says and we say what the Prophet وسلم, says and we ask that Allah the Almighty accepts our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be a source of guidance for us and protect us from kuli suwa makruh and even though walo kariyal kafirun, walo kariyal ahla bid'ah, walo kariyal ahla zandaka, walo kariyal ahla ilhad wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya wa muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.